Here's a really interesting problem. Use substitution in the log rule. It says solve dy dx is equal to 1 over x ln of x. Uh, the first thing we can do is rewrite this in integral form. So we can just write y is equal to the integral. We have integral 1 over x ln of x. So there's a starting point. The next, I mean, let's just talk about this for just a second, if you don't mind. What we're looking for here is, well, some good news. And so I want to look up, and I'm like, is the, what's the first derivative of ln of x? And ln of x is 1 over x, and I'm like, that's weird, because this is 1 over x, but the x is not up here. So all I did here is I just divided the numerator and denominator by x. So divide numerator and denominator by x would look like this, wouldn't it? So we'd have right? So and if we look at this, this clears this bit out here, doesn't it? And we would get this is the same as 1 over x ln of x. If that's really bothering you, if you want to prove that this is true. You can go back to this if you want. And look, you could write this now. This is a complex fraction. And remember, I'm not saying this is where you should go, but if you're, this is freaking you out, you're like, how is this true? Go back and remember, this is a complex fraction. So you'd multiply this by the reciprocal of that, and you'd get right back to 1 over x ln of x, wouldn't you? OK, so now looking at this, and this looks a little less formidable, I think. So. I guess now my question is this, is it possible that this is u, this is du over u, that is to say, is it, is it possible that this ln, is, ln of x is the function and this is its derivative? Because if it is, then we have an ln, don't we? So, like, okay, this is equal to this, isn't it? This e is equal to u prime over u dx, isn't it? So starting to try to put my pieces together. If we agree that this is, in fact, an ln function, then it, Think about what the derivative, I'm sorry, what about the, what the integral of this must look like, because it would be ln of the absolute value of u plus c, wouldn't it? That would be the equivalent. But what is u? Well, u is ln of x, isn't it? It's ln of x there. So I'm kind of looking at that in a little bit. It's going to get a little bit weird, I think. But I am buying it. And if it was true, if this was any other function with its derivative over top, this is exactly what I do. So that is the way I'm going to solve this. And I believe that the answer here is, the answer here is, $5,000, ln, ln of x, ln of ln of x plus c. So that's kind of a really weird problem. But it works out good, and we're just looking for these situations where this kind of works out that way. Let's try to drop in just one more. My able-bodied assistant is here chewing gum or candy or something. Okay. So what about this one? What about this one? Uh, secant squared of x over tan of x dx. We look at that one and try to figure out, okay, how would you solve this? Going to go to the same thing. One, if the answer is not obvious, then it might be a little bit easier than we're thinking. So I'm going to go with the idea, is it possible that this is an LN, that our answer here is going to be in the form of LN? And I'm just going to look at this, and I'm going to ask myself, is it possible that tan of x is the function? Tan of x is the function. So I went to page 250 in the textbook, down the left-hand column, and I saw the first derivative of tan of x is, oh my gosh, it's secant squared of x. So this is an LN, isn't it? So from here, Frankly, we're done, right? We do have, and therefore we have ln, don't we? So this is going to come out to be, remember, this is the function down here. This is the function. So our answer is actually ln, the absolute value of tan of x, of course, plus c. All right? So again, all this pattern recognition stuff should be hopefully getting better and better with us, right? All right, so keep working.